What is up guys, Dark Maestro here and this is a special Hitman Absolution Let's Play. Now, just in case if you're wondering why my voice is so loud, it's mostly because I'm having to use the microphone, the editor's key on my newer one, so the better one, and I'm basically having to hold this one by hand literally very close to me. Now, I am unaware what this is going to do. Because I can't hold the pop shield at the same time, so I'm just basically having to do the old fashioned way and just hope, hopefully for the best, it shouldn't pick up much breathing. If it does, I do apologise, because I don't mean to breathe on the microphone when I'm speaking. So yeah, okay. So here we are folks, we have Hitman uh, Absolution. Now, many Hitman games, I had to pick which one, I could probably stand a chance at. And this was the game recommended to me. Now, we are going to do a the prologue mission. Basically, just as may have already figured it out, we are him, the ever famous Agent Forty Seven. You're basically being him through all the games since the same person, which you never guess. To be honest, because there's so many alike, they're all the same. They're pretty much. The different versions of him, they're all very similar, but in the other game they were all the same in the first ever one, which I don't quite get. How did the match get the same person? Okay, and here it is, Hitman Absolution. This has been the title. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, now what do we have to do? Whoa, big helicopter, big helicopter. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, I get it. Now, with this one, They've been trying to track her down, the one who's on the title there, Diana. Mostly, she was Agent 47's handler, per se. So basically, the one who gave him all the notes to the contracts which he had to do, all the hits he got uh, contracted to do, would be passed through Diana to him. But in one of the, but in another previous time, uh, she ended up leaking a whole bunch of information f about them, the agency, uh, gave away the every location, known location, of, of, of the agency's hideouts, and basically Agent 47 has been given the task of actually killing her, so his old handler. Hey, ice cream truck. Go on, man, get some ice cream. <gasps> Whoa, that's a whole new con that's a new concept of getting cook of dragging customers to you. Yeah. Okay. That's been the intro, folks. So it's time now to start the prologue, a personal contract. So here we go. You gotta do it very professional like. Very professional like. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Just gonna walk down this pathway looking all cool. Hopefully looking cool at least. If we don't, then it's like a, it's a, it's a normal everyday walk. Up to a villa. Which is on a cliffside. Okay, we can duck. That's good. That's good. I wanna get the duck in motion. That's right. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Now here's where we look for the things. No. We're in there, this. And you may notice some of these things have pretty much either been done or not done. See their bits show their what bits need to be done, just like that. These challenges are also useful because as you do these, you do attain upgrades which help you in future contracts. Which is what you need. The third play, what, what you need. Okay, give me that wrench. Okay, we are now going to launch it into the barrels. Okay, one, two, three, yep. Okay, please be aware of it. Thank you, God. And we're off. We are a go. We are now technically in the grounds. Per se. Yes, we are in the grounds now. Yes, we're in the mansion grounds. Who's that person there? Not. Let's say hello. Hey. Oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna drag you down. There we go. 
I think it's safe to say he's dead now, so I should put him inside here. I'm surprised no one ever checks these. I mean, surely these things must be filled with other things, not just leaves. Okay, that's a checkpoint. I always get the checkpoints. Okay, there's another guy. Who's he talking to? Who's that on the phone? You know what? Stop it. It's rude to speak on phones. Get down here. Whoa, that was, that was a glitch I never realized. Okay, hey. Wait a minute, there's a tennis court. It's amazing then and then what you don't sort of realize, whereas you're just casually crouching by to sneak up to someone. You know, with just them little things. Okay, so that has now reached its maximum capacity of two bodies. You know what, let's, let's try this way. Okay. Keep the wire in hand, because you never know when we might need it. Hold control, okay, yeah. Okay, hold on control, let's just see. Everyone. Everyone's location. Well, correction, all nearby location, people. Well, most of the show's enemies. Okay, and throw the book. Hey, he noticed. Are you gonna go see what it was? Good. Hopefully he'll find the Bible and he should be happy. He'll realize that working secure security guard might not be the safest job 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 in the world for him. Oh, I almost got I almost got seen them. Yeah, but what is that? I really see yellow arrow. That basically means you've been seen, but you but don't quite know it's you. And as it spikes, the more they realize. He's not part of our staff, and when it reaches full and uh, and the screen sort of shows like a pulse style effect, that basically means they know you are not who the hell you are. And if you are trespassing in a part which you shouldn't be, you just walk out again, you casually walk back out, and they'll tell you to, uh, to don't do it again. But if you are in disguise and they notice you, they will stop and ask, who you are, and they may try and get you to surrender. So yeah, that's how it does it. Okay, uh, let's security guard. Let's play catch. Catch. Oh, I don't think he quite gets the rules. But then again, he did. Uh, then again, he did catch it, just not with his hands. You know. You know the usual stuff. He didn't. Oh no! Oh no! Wait. No, I just realised we're going to use that knife. Oh well. Right, now it's time for plan B. I'm just gonna walk past, you know. Oh no, she don't like, you know. And we're now being a gardener. Why would a gardener wear a cowboy hat though? That's, what I, that's the thing that confuses me the most. Why? Why a cowboy hat of all the things you could wear? Tell me why. And surely they would they would be suspicious about you being the only gardener to not have a single tool on them or a single gardener's belt with tools, you know. Surely they would have figured out that they might uh, that you might not be a normal gardener. I mean some of these guards are just plain dumb. Seriously, they are. Okay. So there we goes. Let's just turn this. Now what's this do? And we've activated the sprinkler system. Cool. That's good. That's real good. Oh, got some of that one. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why, I'm, why I'm yawning so much. Seriously. Okay, let's power walk. Let's power walk. Um, shall we use... Uh, shall, we, shall, we, shall we use our guns this time? Shall we use our guns? Shall we? I don't know. No, let's just sneak past, you know, because they don't care. They're being paid really bad, I mean, paid really poorly, if they're not willing to look everywhere. Okay, oh my god, that's, that looks really dangerous and far. Oh god, oh, oh. the camera angle, then, oh, I made me think, oh god, Asian 47 is not very happy. Okay, let's climb up here again. Okay. Uh, oh my god, who would ever expect a cowboy hat wearing gardener to be scaring on the walls there in like Spider Man? Uh, I see, yeah, very boss business call you have there. Okay, I get you. Uh, okay, we'll wait for you to finish your call. 
And, yeah, and I have a surprise for you. It involves you be looking outside the window, okay? Here is your surprise. Surprise! There we go, and now he's down. Okay, let's climb in. And, what's that? How did he not even hear? I mean, surely the... I mean, surely the hell he would have heard something from behind and checked. You know what? Sorry, I'm just gonna knock you out. There we are. Now, give me your clothes. You'd, you'd never think of and saying that, would you, in person? <laughs> okay, uh, come on. Over here. You're going. Now, look at the view. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, I'll show you it. Okay, they were. They were. No, wait. Oh, that's not good. That's the only problem with a sleeping person. They don't. They don't grip onto the edge of the window so as you saw there we were showing him the view and he suddenly threw himself off as if nothing ever happened okay okay now we're inside the mansion this could go really well or really wrong i don't know which one <laughs> okay uh what is this <gasps> Ooh, evidence give me the evidence hey it's a hey it's a vcr and uh, a uh, vhc <laughs> Uh, cassette. I wonder what's on it. I hope it isn't some kind of Diana staff fooling around stuff like blackmail an opportunity. Hey, that'd be an idea. You don't have to kill what this blackmail her. <laughs> Shouldn't point off. I don't know quite quite what's making me get these ideas but I've never had these ideas before. <laughs> okay. Now, because we're wearing this outfit, they will never suspect us. Papa, Papa, me move over there. Okay, we're gonna just okay. We're gonna wait. Okay, I'm gonna stay out the wall for a little bit. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go upstairs. Come on, Agent Five Seven, go upstairs. Good agent. Okay, and why am I? Mad? Why am I? Why? What's going on? <laughs> why am I going mad now? Okay, you know what? Go behind the counter, clean up the edge between the floor and the counter if you want to, age of 47. Be the cleaner as you wait. Evidently not, evidently he wants to look at everything and do, and do, blah, 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 apparently. He's not a very good hitman. He's not a good one at all. Okay. Now, oh, yeah, as a, even hitmen need to use the bat, what the heck? Seriously, they have that kind of hot tub. That is just. That is just rich. I mean, that's literally like the rich man's most pointless thing to buy. You buy a hot tub in a bathroom when you just bite actually. I don't know. That looks not used. That just basically looks like it's being filled up just for the sake of being filled. Okay, uh, hello there, chef. I'm going to let you just do whatever you want to. I'm only here to guide and observe. Because I am a chef in training. Mm. Evidently, I seem to be. Okay, so, so watch. I know what I'm going to learn the easy way. Come here. I'm going to strangle you. There we go. Now, it's time to become the chef. There we go. Now, being the chef. I do believe we can now attain full access to this ground floor without a single hint of suspicion. Or at least, I hope that's the case. If it isn't, then yeah, we could be, we could, man, we might not be in some good trouble. Might not be in a good, good situation. Okay, get my wire, you know, you no, know, my cheese cutter. You gotta have a cheese cutter if then you're a chef. Hey, there's a radio. Ah, not the radio. Hey, what's this? Hey, some coffee. Let's just, let's just add some secret spice into it. You know, because secret spice is the ultimate thing for a good coffee. You put whatever you can find. Even if it's ashes of like a fireplace. Hey, fire poker. No, uh, it's not, I don't think going near is a good, good idea. Okay. Now to act the part. Oh my, if this person would not go in the way, that could probably help. Okay. Okay, good. He's drinking the coffee. 
Maybe, maybe I like it. Oh, what does not look? Oh, what looks like the secret spice did not go well with his stomach. He's probably gonna hobble off to the bathroom now. You know, maybe I don't know, but we want to make sure he's alright. Let's follow him. Uh, sir, 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 that's not the way to the bathroom. At least I don't think it is. I don't know. I don't work here. I've only been here for like maybe at most five minutes inside the main build building itself. You know, you know what? I'm just gonna go over here. I'm gonna wait for you to turn back around so I can follow you again. Okay? There we go. Now, what's this black suit guy going to do? Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be big stomach troubles. Maybe painful stomach cramps. I see. You can also see the same effect with any if any Indian rest restaurant of people who who get the most spiciest chili in the world and put it inside the curry. You just get the same you can get the same effect by going to that and watching the people eat this stuff. You know it's pretty simple enough. It's pretty simple entertainment. Okay, there we are. Locate second floor entrance. Hmm. I think it could be on the floor above the one I'm on. That could be an obvious place to look first. Okay, I am just a chef. I'm going to go up to the bathroom and then I'm going to have a little look around. I hope this is alright with, with other staff members. Oh, I am now trespassing. I see, so I'm not allowed to use the toilet, am I? Oh, that's not good. You know what, I'm just put this key card through here. There we go. Yeah, I'm a chef. I'm a chef who's just trying to find my way to the bathroom. I think I might be lost. Okay. Oh, not them, no, oh, not them multi plastic bead doorways. They're rubbish. You most likely go in there and get attacked by them beforehand, you know. And, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, uh, oh, come on, 47, you can't be, you know what, this is the most, this is the most strategical shower fog I've ever seen. Because look, <laughs> seriously, I don't know why I'd taken that much notice, but, Everything which is which is what a lot of guys want to see in a game is all fogged out, and all the bits you see every day is not fogged out. And Asian Forty Seven, why did you shoot her in the boob? This is not a Game of Thrones. You can't do that kind of thing. And strategic covering, another another game's best friend, strategic covering. Covered up in just an ideal way, so it shows some, but an it shows absolute bugger all at the same time. You know, Asian Five Seven. Are you gonna kill her? Are you gonna do something because you shot her in the boob already? I don't think. I think. Put up this. Do something to help. You know what? Never mind. I think she's gonna pass away anytime soon. Anyway. So what do you do? You just talk to her. You just talk to her, and you don't. Yeah, you just done that to her. I mean, seriously. What kind of guy are you? Oh, an helicopter. You see, she's already dead and it's already strategically covered. Oh my god. What the hell? I was like, for someone who got shot there, she's doing incredibly well. I mean, she is. She's doing incredibly well to even stay alive. Okay, yep, there's the new agency. Having a go at me for not answering them. Could be in the toilet. I don't want you listening in to what I'm doing in the bathroom. <laughs> and they could think I've gone rogue when I've just gone in then for then a quick slash. <laughs> you know, that's just really bad. That is a bad professional viewpoint. Okay, what's this? Hey, the coin. Wait, you put a coin in an envelope. And oh. I get the feeling I think she might have just died. Oh, she has. At least what you could have done is cleaned the glass up so it's not going into her back. I mean, seriously, have some. Diana located. Yep, she was located. All right. Get the Victoria. Hang on. I hope this isn't anything weird. If it is, I'm gonna be really concerned about then this game's direction. Seriously. I'm already quite hesitant as it is. And I'm always at. <gasps> always four guards in the next room. Uh, let's check. Anything, anything I can use? 
I don't know. Like a bust. And before anyone starts saying anything, I mean a bust and a statue head. Nothing in the other term. Okay. Now. Okay, we're now going to do this. Dead eye mode. One. Two. Three. <laughs> for Oh, that took a long time. Okay, and. Dad shooter. There's two. Ow, what the hell? Yeah, it's the one thing. You know, I'm surprised that they even know. I'm surprised that they somehow noticed us there. Okay, let's just have a little look over here. Anything else I can take? Anything else I need to take? I'm just checking through this stuff, you know, just in case. Okay, let's just pick lock this. Pick locking will complete. In a room full of bodies. Who the hell is going to spot you? Unless one of them came back from the dead, I don't think there's much chance. Okay, wait, that's her. Um, well, I guess that's something okay, I guess. I was expecting something, I don't know, something else. <laughs> I don't know. One of these days, though, then they are actually going to do a Hitman game and it said locate. I don't know, uh, like a giant name. Uh, Ted. <laughs> yeah. Basically, 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 what's gonna be is locate Ted. And you reach the room and you just find. And you basically just enter the room and then you find a golden retriever there with the tag Ted. Seriously, it's just gonna be one, one of these Hitman games. There's gonna be locate a dog, and then you're gonna use that dog to find the person who you have to assassinate. <laughs> it's gonna be one of them things. I just, I am predicting this. In the future, there is going to be a dog-related contract on this, on the Hitman fr franchise themselves. I am calling it now. And if it comes true, I am going to be over the moon and very shocked. Okay, oh, that's not, um, that's not a good flashback to have there. It's not good at all. No. Okay, come on. Come on now, you're going to follow me. We're going to let the really expensive Mercedes become bust and explode. <laughs> yeah. I don't think any woman in the right mind would ever want to want to set fire to a car that's probably worth more than your very life. <laughs> and you can even get that tested out as well. Just go to any life insurance, find out how much you are worth, and then go to the local and then go to a car salesman and ask, can you get a car that that costs the same amount as your life? Unfortunately. In my case, they don't have any one-pound cars, so I'm pretty much. I'm just gonna be over. I'll never be able to drive anything, guys. That's what it is like. Okay. Oh, we see there. We didn't get a lot of stuff. Oh, what? Oh, there's a lot of stuff we've actually missed down, actually. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Anyway, though, folks. So, yeah. So, there has been the Assassin's. The Assassin 1. So, please catch me in the next one, folks.